find the average value of f of x equals 4 times the natural log of x over the interval 1e. So solution. So the average value of this function over the integral is given by the formula 1 over b minus a times the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x. And so in this case, it looks like uh, a is 1 and uh, b is e. Wow, okay. So this is 1 over e minus 1. And we said a was 1, so 1. And b is e, so there it is. And then f of x is 4 natural log of x over x with respect to x. So to integrate this, we will make a u substitution. If we let u be the natural log of x, then du is going to show up as dx over x. So u will be the natural log of x, and then du is going to be 1 over x dx. Now we just need to change the limits of integration. So let's see, when x is 1, u is going to be the natural log of 1, and the natural log of 1 is 0. When x is equal to e, that's the upper limit of integration, u is going to be the natural log of e, and the natural log of e is 1. Let's go ahead and carefully rewrite what we have. So this is equal to 1 over e minus 1, and we have the integral sign. Let's see, when x is 1, it's over here, we said that u was 0, so this becomes a 0. And when x is e, we said that u is 1, so this becomes a 1. Oh, very nice. The 4 hangs out. u was the natural log of x, so we get 4u. And then this dx over x, well, that's just this. That's simply du. So integrating, we end up with 1 over e minus 1. That's a constant. It hangs out. There's a 1 here, so we use the power rule. This is 4u squared over 2, and we're going from 0 to 1. Let's keep going. Uh, looks like 4 over 2. It's going to give us a 2. So this is 1 over e minus 1. And then we have 2u squared from 0 to 1. So first we plug in the 1 for the u. So we end up with 2 over e minus 1, right? Because 2 times 1 squared is 2, right? 2 times 1 is 2, and this hangs out, minus. And then when we plug in 0, this whole thing is going to go away, so minus 0. So the final answer is 2 over e minus 1. And that is the average value.